YouTube, it's Autumn Beckman. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're new. I'm going to take a piece of advice from one of my subscribers named Queen B and try to remember to give a little disclaimer at the beginning of every one of my videos from now on about my bird Vincent. So I have a parrot, an African gray, and she's right over there off screen. She talks during my videos and the talking isn't so bad, but sometimes she does these little pings and noises that come across uh, pretty loud, pretty high pitched on the volume and the camera, and that can be kind of annoying. So I apologize for that in advance, and that's what that is in case you're wondering when you hear that in the video. I'm wearing green today in honor of National Tequila Day. It is July 24th. I'm wearing green because it's the color of margaritas, and that's our favorite tequila drink. And I'm going to need a margarita tonight after the news that broke in the Louis Vuitton community today. So I saw. This was a couple days ago, I guess. I saw Wendy S. The Loving 50 said something in one of her videos about there was a rumor that she'd heard that Louis Vuitton was limiting stock on their canvas pieces. So the canvas pieces, from what she understood, would be harder to get. And she really didn't have any more information than that. And then I've heard a few things um, here and there, but nobody seems to have any information. Well, today, Minx For All, Minnie, posted in her Q&A about it and then uh, Foxy LV posted on her Instagram about it and she posted, I'm not sure what the source was, but she posted, it looked like an article with some quotes from the CEO of LVMH talking about how they wanted to basically get rid of canvas pieces or at least focus less on those and focus more on leather and exotic pieces that were more high-end. I don't know about you guys. Um, I assume you feel the same way as I do because I've seen some people talking about it on the Louis Vuitton Addicted Facebook page too, and people are pretty upset about this, as am I. I can kind of understand where they're coming from in that Louis Vuitton bags, the canvas pieces at least, are fairly, fairly common, at least where I live in Houston. I see them all the time. Um, but I also feel like that's the neighborhood that I'm in and, and the neighborhood that I work in. and they apparently want to compete with Chanel and Hermes, which are much more expensive, more leather products, and more exclusive because fewer people can afford it and they limit their stock, apparently. It's very disappointing because the canvas is the heart of their brand and it goes with the history of their brand and it's what's more affordable and it's not like the canvas pieces are cheap. And Foxy LV, I don't know where she's getting her information. I don't know enough about her and, and who she is, what her sources are. But she has said that they're not discontinuing the canvas altogether, but they are pulling it from stores or pulling most of it from stores. So it won't be available in stores anymore. It will only be, avail be available online. And I don't know what they're thinking, if that's true, because you have to be able to go into a store and look at these bags in person to really get a feel for the size and the weight and how it fits you and whether it looks good on you um, and shopping around. And these bags are so expensive, it's, I feel like they're going to lose uh, just a ton of money. Um, people aren't going to buy, like, I would be much less inclined to go buy a bag online that costs fifteen hundred dollars two thousand um, dollars I would much rather go see it in person and I've done that before there are bags that I have seen in person that I'm not going to see looking at the website because personally I don't think their website is set up very well you can't sort by different things you know it, it's confusing the to navigate in my opinion I also think with all the quality issues and the customer service issues that Louis Vuitton has had lately that I've heard about I haven't experienced those so much myself but I've heard so many stories about um, essays telling you different things or uh, people having problems with their bags and the straps on the neo Noes and you know, you name it, you've probably heard the same stories I have. It seems like what they would want to do to build a better brand is to fix those issues, the issues with customer service and with quality, rather than just you know, dismiss the canvas altogether, and by dismissing the canvas, you're dismissing all of the customers who buy your canvas and collect your canvas, and that makes me personally feel like I don't even want to shop at Louis Vuitton anymore. I mean, if all this is true, it's it just puts such a bad mark on the brand for me. Um, so many people, like myself, save up for a long time, and Louis Vuitton is a tier above anything else that 
that I can afford. Um, I, I'm not interested in Chanel. I certainly can't afford Hermes bags. So to me, it's just a slap in the face to all those customers who love the canvas bags and who that's all they can afford. Um, I would love to get a, an Empreinte leather bag, but I've not been able to afford it or justify spending that kind of money on a bag. Even though most of the pieces that I buy are pre-loved anyway, there are some things that I want to purchase in the store that for various reasons it makes more sense for me to purchase them in the store. And if the canvas isn't available in the stores anymore to look at and to touch and feel and have that store experience, then that's just really upsetting and insulting to me as a customer and it makes me not want any part of the brand anymore at all. Question for you, is there anything that Louis Vuitton could do that would make you disloyal to the brand, that would make you stop buying the brand, that would push you to other brands, or even that might push you to the replica market? If there is, let me know in the comments below because I'd be really interested to hear that. Ever since I started buying Louis Vuitton, I felt very loyal to the brand. When I have carried a different bag from my collection that's not Louis Vuitton, I feel like something's missing, which sounds really silly, but I always want to carry Vuitton. And lately, I have felt like I want to start carrying other bags. And not that I want to get rid of any of the Vuitton that I have, but I just... I, part of it is that I want a little variety rather than just the, th the three canvases. But some of it is just a growing disgust with all the problems that, that this brand is having, and especially if these rumors are true. I'm feeling really disillusioned and betrayed by this brand, and last night, even before hearing all this, um, as much as I did today about it, last night I purchased an Aldo bag. I haven't purchased bags from any other brand since I started buying Louis Vuitton, and I purchased this Aldo bag for, it was on clearance for $30, so I can't lose with it. I'd love to know how you feel about that in the comment section, if all of this is leaving a bad taste in your mouth too and if the replica market is something that you would consider and even if it's not true all the problems with quality and customer service make me feel kind of betrayed as a customer it makes me feel like they don't care about the customers and really not just me because i haven't shopped there that often i can't afford to shop in the store that often but so many of you do so many of the people in the youtube videos i watch and the louis vuitton addicts group that i watch and I'm curious how you feel, if you feel betrayed too. If you have any information, please leave that in the comments below. Any updates on this or whether or not it's real or not real, I would love to hear that too. Like this video if you liked it. Please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more from me. Most of my videos are about luxury on a budget. And also please click, click the little bell so you get notifications when I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.